Hey guys, Anthony, 4 before well, 4 before Touring Australia, 4 before Adventures, or 4 before Diesel, whatever you like, but um, just wanted to talk to you about, just briefly, scan gauges and auto fix and whatever the case may be. It doesn't bother me what brands and what products you use. We had this scan gauge from uh, years ago. I suppose it was a bit before you could just, you know, plug in a little, you know, where that plug goes with the wire on it and you've got to run the wire. You know, like what I'm about to show you on the other vehicles. The reason I've left the scan gauge in the Hilux is because the Hilux 4-speed automatic transmission is the one that slips the most, if you know what I mean. So it's got the transmission temperature. We've put in the codes into this scan gauge so it can read the transmission temperatures of all the Prado's Hiluxes throughout the whole range as far as we know. So there's different PIDs you put in. So there's a whole heap of d d different times you've got to press the button to get different auto temperature readings. But this four-speed auto Hilux certainly, talk about it, unlocks, we call it slipping to keep it simple, you know, slipping if you like, to uh, makes a lot of heat in the transmission. And this is the one, although it's pretty good and it stays under control compared to the 2019 one GD, that was the worst of all, absolutely by far. Couldn't stand it. As I said, loved the vehicle. Didn't like the uh, lack of engine power, and the worst part was the transmission software. Um, it was certainly the worst. And it, this unlocks and slips very similarly, but it keeps it, the temperature stays down a bit better, and it comes down a lot quicker once it locks. So that's why we've left our only scan gauge, which is getting old, and the the wires stiff. It's hard to route through. No, uh, all good reasons to not uh, use them. And then the plug, you know, the connection here can get a bit average at times and it sort of flickers on and off because of the stiff cable, right? In the other vehicle, like our 2008 120 Prado, we've just got the auto fix, you can see, permanently plugged in there, right? It just stays plugged in then. Any time we like, if we've got, if we want to read any data, um, or we want, if we've got an engine light, uh, this vehicle does get the P0400, so it's got some sort of issue there. Luckily, once again, worse than everyone else's, and we're still working on that. We haven't had time to do a final check on a couple of components, but I'll just mention it. Don't go and replace your EJAR valve because you've got a P0400 low EJAR flow. doesn't mean there's something wrong with the EJAR valve. It's not going to be that. But look, um, the Autofix 3210, once again, Google um, Autofix Australia, Trevor Ryan, Dirt Road 4x4 and Werribee, he'll look after you one of those. If you say Oz Pride Crew, you get a 10% discount. So ends up being about 116 bucks. I don't know if you get free delivery or that's extra. I'm not the guy, so I'm not sure you need to check on that website or with him. Uh, and of course, that's what we use in the 2022 uh, Prado here as well. You can see, well, hang on, where is it? Something's gone missing. What's going on? It's gone missing. I see you somewhere. Where, where are we? Where are we? We lost it. Ah, there it is. <laughs> yeah, you think I'd know where the plug, in, plug was in? Uh, you think I'd know where the plug was? The reason I'm mentioning this is because people ask questions like, oh, so... Why do you use this here and that there and whatever? Now, in this vehicle, the transmission software, so since they remapped, reprogrammed, whatever you want to call it, the more powerful engine with a bigger turbo and the, they've redone the transmission software, I can't be sure as to exactly what month and date, but you'll know it's chalk and cheese, as explained in the videos. This transmission will not need an auto cooler. The transmission just locks, it's gonna stay cool doesn't need an auto cooler. I don't need to monitor the transmission temp. I don't even think I'm gonna plug in the scan gauge because I'm not gonna see anything I don't know. This is this vehicle needs at least of any of the vehicles I've ever owned, right? So this one needs at least. The next one that needs at least would be the 120 Prado, like the 150s with a five speed behind the 1KD. Um, next would be the Hilux, which is why it's got it. And then that 2019, so any of the 1GD six speed autos, they are slipping their heads off. They're not going to be any different to what a 2019 is. And that's the ones where you really want to monitor that auto temp or get an auto cooler onto it as a band-aid. It's only a band-aid fix, but it'll do the job. Probably better than going into the electronics and having to get it remapped by some cowboy, if you know what I mean. So there could be someone that does it right. I don't know. Just give an advice. Keep it safe. Uh, Toyota didn't get it right that time. I'm sorry. But the good news is... There, well, our battery's gone flat on the light, and uh, we're going to have a free automatic transmission cooler kit available. So if you hung around, it wasn't just about the auto fix and the scan tool. It's first bit of information on the free automatic transmission cooler. So here's the free automatic transmission cooler. So I'll give you a little bit of background. We got this from Kaon because obviously Kaon use quality products, so they use the uh, Davies Craig. 
transmission cooler and they make the custom stainless steel brackets as you can see top and bottom to mount that cooler now we did get this from Kaon to put fit on our 2019 after noticing all the issues with the um, you know the, the transmission getting really hot and the constant slipping the non-locked torque converter um, so what happened though we went to briefly fit it and you may have seen the video on that but the problem was where we routed our wires for our DC DC charger on that projector thing which we will never use again um, and we don't it was wired correctly I don't believe it was faulty there's been some reports of similar from other people so I believe it's kind of what they do when they get hot so while you're driving and, and the DC charger seat off top again is mounted on a bracket like this from Cohen, which they also sell it gets plenty of airflow it works well but once you're parked sitting in 40 degree heat um, and the heat under the bonnet and all that sort of thing near the engine you're trying to use solar just I don't know if it's the heat but it just doesn't work too well and it's inconsistent was the key so anyway we got this back on topic right but it's all good information so we got this cooler um, that was the issue then we decided you know what let's order a new one because I can't stand this transmission software anyway and this gutless engine when I've got a 1kd that goes harder and I've heard you know there's a remap a bigger turbo and the transmission they fix it up so I drove one I went that does seem a lot better let's get one and find out so we sold our uh, Prado for what we paid for it and we purchased a new one and got ripped off like everybody else because you know that's what happens during COVID so you might sell for a good dollar but you'll pay a good dollar as well but it's all good the point is the transmission as I said is chalk and cheese so now we're left with this transmission auto cooler from Kaon that we don't need so it is going to be a prize I haven't worked out what I'm going to do to make it a prize you can put your suggestions in the comments if you've got a 2015, 16, 17, 18, 19, whatever, you can put it on a later one if you like. One GD FTV Prado. This is the transmission cooler with the hoses. Um, the clamps are probably there somewhere too. They're hanging off here. There they are. All right, there it is. All right, so we've got the deal here. There's everything you need. And there's the part number if you want to go on kon.com.au to check. And now we've lost the light on the camera as well. Uh, there you go. Prado 150 series, one GD 2.8. My understanding, that's this one only suits that vehicle so and it's the only vehicle that really needs it to be quite honest I'm not I haven't ever had one on our 120 1kd never had a problem I've watched the temperature it's easily controllable the 2022 it's even more easily controllable you don't have to think about it the Hilux it slips a little bit but I'm monitoring the temperature it's easily manageable to keep it under 100 degrees most of the time there's a possibility that I'll add a cooler to the Hilux this one, if you've got a 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, there's no better time than now to get one of these coolers. So whether you want to hang around, we'll work out what this prize is, how it's going to be a freebie sooner or later. Subscribe, turn the bell on. It's going to be on one channel or the other or both or on our Facebook groups, you know. These ones here, you know. Right, there they are. Right, Oz Prado Crew, the key one. Oz, it's, it's a Prado thing. So it's going to be on Oz Prado Crew or it's going to be on, yeah, you know, it's going to be on that basically. All right, guys, thanks for watching. That's a video. Just trying to share the info, answer the questions for you, and tell you about the freebie. Thanks for watching. See ya.